Hi everybody, welcome back. It's the long-awaited tour of our brand new caravan. Now we haven't done it up until now, simply because we wanted it all laid out looking as if we're using it. And also wanted to give you an idea of how the caravan functions for us whilst we're on holiday. So Angela is inside at the moment, frantically cleaning it. We'll give her a couple more moments and we'll head on inside and have a look around. Right, so let's start from the outside then. So this is no different to a basic Phoenix, but there are a couple of crucial add-ons and I'll just bring you those now. So what we do have here is we have an external gas outlet and also we have external mains outlet and a TV connector as well. Now that's part of a DIY project I've put together and you'll see that in a future video. One of my biggest criticisms about Bailey caravans is that they put the electric hookup on the outside of the caravan. And on this caravan, it pops out there. But I'll be absolutely honest with you, on this caravan, with this layout, in that position there, it actually doesn't impede anywhere with our awning. Now on a couple of other layouts, I know that the outlet comes out just after the wheel arch, and I think that would be quite a big intrusion in the awning. But for us, and with this little Van Gogh awning that we are still using, I would say it doesn't impact at all. So this is our awning, as per usual, we've got nothing different here at all. Uh, we've got our table and our cabinet at the back there. It's a bit of a mess because I wanted to show you what it's actually like when we're away. Um, we stove lots of bits and odds and ends down the bottom there, like bags and cases, etc. And uh, we just keep chairs and uh, other odds and sods down the corner there as well. And that's what we do. We usually pack everything up against the edge of the awning at the back there. The only thing we do do is we keep our coffee machine out here in the awning. We're here at Christmas time and you can see we've still got some of the lights up. Right let's head on in. Right so here we are inside the caravan. Now I'm stood by the kitchen at the moment and you can see the front of the caravan there and like all Baileys the front window is colossal and we're really liking that one. Because it's a dealer special it's got the name above the lights there just there, just hit the dog with the uh, monopole. And uh, you can start to see the color schemes. Now, that is not the fabric that you can see on the sofa there. That is an actual fact, that's uh, a couple of throws that we've put on there to protect the seats from that thing there. He looks thoroughly impressed. A couple of things which I'll point out to you now, being a dealer special, we actually have an additional USB socket uh, just down there. You can see a cable plugged into it, uh, which is very useful very handy. The only problem is though, we need to make sure that that's unplugged if anybody is sleeping here. The way we have the sleeping arrangements in this caravan is Chloe sleeps on this bed with one of our duvets as a single mattress and that's absolutely fine for her. She, she really does sleep very well there. A uh, couple of other things, the cupboards at the top there, unlike the Phoenix, they're closed up. That's part of the dealer special pack as well. As you can see there, and it's not a bad cupboard size to be honest with you. I mean, we've got bits and bobs in here, like uh, what is that? That's a, a vegetable slicer and some chocolates there, it looks like. Very nice. Uh, and the radio is in that one there as well. Now, I'm going to do a video about a DAB radio upgrade, look out for that one coming soon. Something also I have done with this caravan is I've upgraded the lights, uh, that one there. I've upgraded those lights there. They're the ones that you find in the Unicorn. They're dimmable and they've got two USB sockets and I've done that for all four uh, reading lights in the caravan. So that's it, uh, cupboard space. Here we go, as you can see, lots of junk piled up there. Just be aware that all of that comes out when we're in transit. There's nothing up there at all when we actually are in motion. Motion? Motion. And then we use this one here for foodie bits, snacky bits, etc., what have you. Biggest criticism I have of these cupboards is that they don't lock. So um, you can't keep anything in them anyway when you're in transit because you can see they just flap about. The ones above the kitchen area, they do lock. Let's turn some lights on. There we go. Uh, these lock and that's great. And the way we have it arranged in this cupboard here is our cups. I'm just gonna to talk to you about this as well. The Phoenix range and the dealer special range, they don't come with um, cup holders or plate racks at all. So what we've done is we've bought two of these things. These are called muggies. We've bought two of these and we just bought a plate rack from the caravan accessory shop. 
and we haven't screwed any of these in but it's the perfect fit as you can see that we can still take these out if we want to and the plate rack is just held in there nice and neat and that's our cups and plates set up we keep glasses here cups over here some plastic cups at the back there if we've got sort of friends over or children etc uh, and that's how we, we keep it and that seems to work really well for us so in the cupboard next to that one this is where we just keep our coffee sugars etc bowls and bits and bobs there uh, and rags and cloths and tea towels at the top there nothing really exciting at all now we really like the cooker uh, it's a dual fuel hob so we've got an electric hot plate which is one of the big things that angela wanted out of a cooker and uh, and also it's gas as well it's a fetford caprice mark three so it's got a separate grill separate oven as well underneath this is where we keep all our food all our big food items and what we've done uh let's just open this up and show you what we've done is we've purchased these baskets here which you can see there we purchased those from poundland uh, pound stretcher it was something like poundland or pound stretcher it was a cheapy pound shop that we purchased those from and um, they have been absolutely fantastic it means that when we're in transit we can take those out and put them on the floor in uh, one of our boxes which means that it's not going to be bouncing around on the shelves there and that's a really good idea we obviously paid very little for those because we got them from i think it was pound stretcher actually Ange, that we got these from so that's that over this side this is where we have our tv uh and the fridge I won't show you inside that and the microwave above it right moving back let's show you the bathroom so let me tell you an interesting fact about this bathroom we actually wanted a much smaller bathroom of course our Luna was huge in the bathroom area and we wanted a small one because we wanted a maximum space elsewhere in the caravan. I, we never really used the shower in our last caravan, but what I can tell you now is that I've used the shower more times in this caravan than I ever did in the Luna in its entirety. Um, I love this shower. We went away to the new forest, as you would have seen, and I never used the on-site facilities, not once. And that's unheard of for me because I do like a long, you know, hot shower. But this was absolutely fantastic. Anyway, so let me show you around this bathroom. Now, one of the big things that Angela noticed was the loo roll holder was on the side of the sink. And the towel rail holder was next to the door. Which, when you look at it, looks right. You've got the toilet roll holder next to the toilet and the towel next to the sink. But when you're using it, it doesn't work. When you're sitting on the toilet, you also want the loo roll, but you can't get to it because it's behind you. So a very quick, simple job of just taking them off and putting them back on the other way around. Very quick and easy to do. You can do it yourself. Just needs a very small screwdriver. Loosen them off, swap them over. And it looks different. It looks odd because it, it looks as if it doesn't work. But I can assure you that as a functionality, it really does work. So that's the bathroom in its entirety. Nothing really exciting there. Um, the cupboard here, as you can see, just full of cupboardy type stuff. But again, just showing you that's how it's used. And then we just have um, lava gel crystals to remove any sort of smells, what have you, hand cream and a fake plant. Right, let's move into the bedroom. And what have we got here? We've got a Chloe and we've got a smudge. Is he purring? He's not, is he? Okay. So this is our bed. Now, um, I might get Miss T to show you one of the things that she's done with the bedding. What we've actually got here is a king size uh, duvet and pillow set and a standard double fitted sheet. Um, because this is a curved bed, as you can see there, it, it doesn't quite fit. But Angela's managed to work out a hack to make any sheet fit to any shaped bed. Right then, so this is the hack that Mrs. T has done with the bedding there. Now what are these called here? Um, I Mattress it? straps or something like that? Something like that, yeah. Where did you get them from? I actually bought ours off Amazon. Amazon, okay. So these are straps which you, um, you clip onto uh, the, the corner of a, a sheet. If you suffer from sheets popping off your bed at home, which we do, um, we've got a king size and it's quite a deep mattress. You notice that uh, sheets pop off. So what Angela's done is she's bought these and they clip on and they just fold over so it never bounces off. 
But of course, this bed, you only need three. Yeah. Instead of all four. So you've got two in the top corner. So one yeah. in that corner there, one there. One there. there. Okay, let me stand back. Yeah. Because <laughs> you'll there. see the under the bed. Yeah. Oh, no, I can show you the, the storage that we have under there as well. Yeah. You lift the bed. So under here. Let's lift that out of the way. Okay. So once again, it's basically one there on the end of the bed and it then hooks to each of the corners. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that basically means that that is a double fitted sheet, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So it basically means that any double fitted sheet can fit onto this really odd shaped mattress. Yeah. And if you've got an odd shaped mattress, you know, I'm sure you can engineer a, a route as well with it. Mm -hmm. Now, whilst the bed's up, I'll show you the storage under here. We have um, uh, our table for the front there. Bit of a stupid place to put it, I suppose. And we've also got a spare wheel under this bed as well. Mm -hmm. When we're in transit, we usually put our chairs at the back there and that's pretty much it. Oh, and some carpety bits for the awning. Yeah. Not very heavy items go in here right at the back because uh, we like to keep all the weights sort of mid to the front. Good, thank you. We do find this bed is plenty big enough for both of us. At the moment, it's in its daytime configuration, which means it is pushed right back. Uh, the half of the mattress is sort of bent up at the back there. So it's all pushed back, which means that you've got space to walk around down here. There's a toe there. And uh, yeah, we can set, you know, get ourselves dressed and ready here. And it's absolutely fine. Um, one thing we have noticed is that that is the only heating outlet in this bedroom. And I wouldn't say it was cold, but compared to the rest of the caravan, it's a lot cooler. Uh, it just doesn't seem to get warm back here whatsoever. Either we've got a fault or I'm not doing something right, but um, I'm gonna fiddle with that and, and see what I can do. Now, in terms of television points, well, there's a TV point here at the back here, um, and I'm gonna show you the, the hack and the, the, the upgrade that I've done to the aerial. That's in a separate video. But as you can see, what we've got is we've just got a tiny little TV hanging from a couple of bungee cords that are hanging from the towel rail or the dressing hook up at the top there and that's how we've mounted our tv at the back there i will at some point put a tv bracket in here at the back of the caravan um, and you can look out for that video in coming episodes um, i've worked out a place where it can go the tv bracket can in fact go here to mount here and then it can come across at that height the shelf is just too low to put a tv on it because uh, by the time you're in bed because i'm sure you can see the heights there the bed and the shelf is just too low so it just, uh, just doesn't work um, one thing we do like though is the pelmets above the windows gives angela plenty of space to put knickknacks and uh, kindles etc and then this is just where we keep our clothing so angela and chloe keep their clothing in there and then i use that one over there for clothing for myself Mum uses that one up there. <laughs> oh, and I will show you this teddy bear. This teddy bear we bought at the last uh, place we went to with Luna, and we affectionately called him Lenny. Right, and there we go. A very simple and a very quick run through of our caravan. Um, and I hope it shows you what the caravan looks like and how we um, make it work with us living in it. I mean, we're on holiday at the moment, so the caravan is not pristine. It's not showroom friendly, but it also gives you an idea of how the thing looks and operates, you know, when people are using the caravan. I think we can all agree that in a showroom or, you know, in a forecourt or at a show, you know, a couple of nice little knickknacks here and there and everywhere to give an indication of how it will look when you're using it is not the same as when you're using the caravan because, you know, we have found that things don't fit in cupboards, things do fit in other areas. And I hope that this gives you an idea of how the caravan works for us. So I hope that's given you an idea of, of this one. If you've got any questions or comments or if there's anything that you would like to see in greater detail, pop them down in the comments of this video and I'll be happy to revisit them, you know, maybe with a further in-depth review of this caravan for you. Overall, we are really, really happy with it. We do have some faults and I'm going to show you those faults in a separate video and what the repair is and how easy it is to get those things repaired. Uh, and I'll go into those in greater detail with you later on. 
So there we go, guys. That's it from us today. Hope that's been everything that you wanted to see. And we'll see you very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.